Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about iterations in Flow Designer. As you might have seen my previous video about the loops in ServiceNow, so those are the iterations we will be talking about and how to manage iterations in your Flow Designer using your loops. As I said, iterations are implemented using for each loop or the do until loop in Flow Designer. If you want to learn more about these loops in Flow Designer, please click on the top right corner out of the box the iterations are set as maximum 1000 so that means a loop whether it's a for each loop or maybe do until it can run only 1000 times after that it will throw an error we can set this system property as we need i've tried with 1000 5000 10000 and it was working fine but when I had set it to 50,000, it threw an error, which I will show you in a second. So it depends on you and your environment. What values do you actually want to set? The best practice is 1,000. That's why ServiceNow has out of the box made it as 1,000. So I suggest you to keep that as it is because flow designer are very heavy when they are running. And if you set more than 10,000 or something, it will definitely run into errors of timing out. So things to take care. So this is one of the article which I found to it. I'll just quickly take you through that article. So this is the article. I will just give you a gist about this. So in this example or in this document, they had set 50 as the maximum iterations for their do until loop, but it was still running to its previous values. So what they had to do is they had to deactivate and reactivate the flow to consider the latest property changes. So you have to make sure if you are changing the system property of a flow designer, you just go ahead and deactivate and activate the flow if it is not working. Ideally, it should be working because this error was found in Madrid and we are currently in Utah. So this shouldn't be happening. But for some reason, if it occurs, just go ahead and deactivate and reactivate your flow. I will also paste the link to this article in the description. Now, for example, if you have set the system property of maximum iterations as 1000 and your do until loop is running 2000 times. So this is the error which will be shown in your logs that maximum iterations limit exceeded. So you have to take care of that in your code that your loop doesn't go beyond 1000. So you have to write your code very efficiently. And this is the example where I had set 50,000 as the iteration limit to check the limits of the flow designer. But after certain time, I think it was around 10 minutes, this error came in. There was an error executing the flow. And this was the error that canceling transaction maximum execution time exceeded. So it was maximum time exceeded. So if you see it was around 16,000, it had ran through. So 16,000 times the loop had run. And after that, it had error out. Now we will go to service now and see a demo. How can we test the iterations in flow designer? I'm in my service now as you can see this system properties page and you can see this system property as in flow designer max iterations is set as 1000, which is out of the box. You can go ahead and change that as well. And then there is another place from where you can change this value. If you don't want to go into system properties, if you click on all and type here process automation and under flow designer, if you scroll down, you will see properties. And when you click on these properties, you would see the maximum number of iterations that a loop will run in flow designer. It has been set as 1000. So if you change here or on the system property page, it is the same thing. So if you want to change the values, I would recommend using this page because this is where all the properties of flow designer are given and you can take your call accordingly. Now I will go to my flow designer and we will create a flow to test our iterations. I will click on new and click on flow and I can say iterations demo and I will submit this. If you don't know the basics about flow designer, please click on the top right corner. And in this video, I have explained about all the basics of flow designer with a demo. I will add a trigger here and maybe I can make it as daily at 10 a.m. So we don't need this right now, but I will just keep this value of trigger here because we have to run this flow designer ad hoc. And then here I will declare one of the flow variables and I will add maybe a counter 
which is of integer type and I will select integer from here. If you haven't checked my previous video about flow variables, please click on the top right corner and I have explained about flow variables in detail in that video. I'll click on cross and here I would set the initial value of the flow variable. So I will search for set flow variables and I will click on plus and select counter here. It's the variable which we just created and I will initialize the value as one. I'll click on done and then I will here run the loop. So I will choose do the following until and then I will put a condition as counter is for example 5000 and I will click on done and in between this I will add an action to log the value of the counter. So I can say maybe here demo and then the counter value. So it will print something like demo 1, demo 2, demo 3 and so on according to the loop. And another thing which I want to do is to increase the value of this counter. So again I will set the flow logic and click on set flow variable. Click here, select counter and here I will click on data pill. Click on flow variable, click on counter and then if you see this small button called function, I will click this, click on math and add one to this counter value every time this loop is running. So after this is done, we are ready to test this flow. Let's also add something at the last of this flow logic. So I will click on action and I will log and I can maybe say here demo has ended. And click on done and save this and now we will run this flow on ad hoc basis. Now the maximum iterations for this service now instance is set as 1000 and we are trying to run this loop for 5000. So it should show an error after 1000. I will test this and click on run test and we will give it a minute. So it has run now. I'll go to my logs and write here in the message demo and it will show me all the values. So if you see here 990 is there. If I search for maybe triple nine, it should show me. So yeah, so it was running until triple nine. And if we type 1000, it is still there. If I type 1001, so it's not there. So this has run 1000 times. And now if I remove this filter of demo, and scroll down a bit and we try to see the error. What was the error? We can see here the maximum iterations exceeded and no thrown error. And let's now try to check if the last message in the log was printed or not. So the log, if you remember, which we had put demo has ended. So I'll, let me search for demo has ended. And you see that the log did not run. So you have to be really careful while setting the iteration limit in your code. You have to handle that in such a way it should not go beyond 1000 because if that errors out the following logic in the flow designer will not be running. I hope you would have now understood how to set the value of maximum iterations in flow designer. What is the best practice and how can we test that? If you still have any questions on iterations, Please let me know in the comments and I will definitely try to answer you. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button.